Hello everyone, Tragedy Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. And of course, with the current situation, I hope you're staying safe. I can't say what the situation is because YouTube and demonetization. So um, yeah, I won't say anything to do with the situation other than stay in and uh, stay safe, hopefully. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna be doing quite a big video today. Now, over the last, I don't know, six weeks, two months, give or take, I haven't been doing very many videos because of the situation and how busy work is and things going on at home. I just really just haven't had the time or the energy to sort of do videos. Now, all of the things that I have here, I'm gonna be going over this list here. All of these were meant to be individual videos and so instead in today's video I'm going to be going over all of these things and um, just sort of giving you an update as to six weeks worth of updates um, very briefly. Not all the little things but all the main big things I'll like to share with you. Uh, before we begin this video of course a huge thank you to those of you that subscribe to me, my patrons and people that like leave a comment and share my content. Especially those that have been sort of sharing my African and Guatemalan series. Uh, I've had a huge spike in people viewing those playlists and I really hope that if you're one of them that you have enjoyed watching those. I still have to finish the African playlist but that will be done soon. So with that said I'm going to get straight into today's video. Um, I have a lot to cover. I really hope that you'll stay uh, to listen to everything that's going on. I hope you enjoy the footage. There will be plenty of footage of my animals. Uh, you'll notice as well, by the way, um, that there is a change of perspective in this video. Normally I have the camera facing this wall here, but I've changed that for one reason or another. And uh, so th in today's video, and maybe in future videos, if you like this view as a background, um, then let me know. Of course, you can see that Yuna is of course in the background. She's just been feeding and she's just having a bit of a bask. If you would like to have this view more often, then let me know in the comments below. Of course, if you want to have standard backdrop, then let me know as well and I can maybe get back to doing that at some point in the future. And the reason, um, one of the re things that have, has been going on in this room is I recently redid the whole room as far as the, um, you know, the organisation of it. So the only thing that is still in its original place is Luna's, uh, Luna, that's a puppy, is Yuna's tank in the corner. Uh, on top of the tank is Gex, um, as well as the snake viv over the back here. Every single spider on this whole wall has been completely rearranged and the back here, which is where the reptile vivariums were, is now um, some tarantulas and Zelda, as well as some equipment and things on the bottom. So uh, you'll see some footage on screen of you know, the move round and also um, I'll be going over what's going on over here in just a second. So yeah, that's the first thing is the move round. That took me three days. Originally I was vlogging it, uh, did like a time lapse of it. I got bored of filming it and just stopped filming because I just wanted to get it done desperately. So that's the first big thing that's sort of happened. Um, next, very quickly, I want to give a mention to a collaboration that I'm working on, or I'm going to be working on, I guess. Um, I will put some footage on screen in a nutshell. But basically I was contacted by a lady about doing a collaboration with other uh, invert keepers um, about video, video games that we play and um, so of course one of the games I play a lot of is Beat Saber on PSVR I play it like well whenever I can to be fair and um, so yeah I will be submitting the video that you can see to this collaboration just for a little bit of fun so hopefully if you like Beat Saber or video games you'll watch that video if you've never heard of it I'd recommend going and sort of trying it out and also one of my video games uh, just last night I did read that they are, well apparently, um, as a rumour, that they are going to be remaking the original Mass Effect trilogy. And I really hope that that happens, because this year has been so, so disappointing with the situation. Uh, it would be great to have that to kind of play for the rest of the year and give me a, you know, a break from Beat Saber, because I love the Mass Effect. And that sort of goes in nicely to something else I wanted to mention, because I've had some deaths. Um, first death. Um, that I want to talk about, uh, I'll mention, is the P. Regis, the Regal Jumping Spider. This died last weekend. Um, it's a shame because I did, I think I have some footage of it, if I do, I'll put it on screen, where I actually was able to hand feed um, this spider uh, mealworms, and it was just wonderful. It'd come out all the time, look around, um, and I found that sadly dead, uh, sadly dead last weekend, which was a real shame, but I did have it for quite a while, so I'm guessing it was just old age. Of course, true spiders do not live as long as tarantulas. Uh, the second death I want to mention is my assassin books. Now, um, there's a picture here of my label for them. Um, 
three times dick faces because they have dick faces and um, there was actually three now there's two because I looked in I don't think I got a video of this I might have taken a photo but basically I looked in and one of them was eating the other I originally did separate them uh, but the one that was being eaten was it was dead basically so um, I ended up picking it up with some tweezers and giving it back to the one that was eating it I figured it's already dead um, why, you know, no point in wasting it so that's the same you know, it's just a shame to sort of waste it but it is what it is um, so I have two of them there are mealworms in there I'll put some cockroaches in there and hopefully there is no more cannibalism with those two um, I'm not sure why because there's food in there anyway but you know that's what they are that's what they call dig faces um, the third thing that has died and this goes into what I was mentioning about Mass Effect now this really sucks and I did a video on this um, I was at home with my girlfriend and there was a really, really pungent smell. This was like, it kicked you in the face. Um, like, disgusting. And I thought it was from the chameleon that had died. I thought maybe the tank um, was sort of smelling us on that. So, checked over that, but it wasn't that. Uh, it was, like, later on that I came into my animal room and it was so strong in here. Like, phew, it like really, bearing in mind I'm a funeral director so I know bad smells. Uh, this was, like, up there with some of the worst things I've smelt. Um, or the, the underside was black. I did get some footage of it. Um, not the nicest of footage to show you, but that's how we found it. And of course, I had to get, you know, I did a whole video on that. And it was basically just like several minutes of me rambling about this snake that had died. And it really irritated me because I'd been sort of saying, I'd only obviously um, had video footage of it the week before. I tried to feed it and it was sort of, you know, slithering around and things. And I mentioned that it escaped my girlfriend and found it. Yeah, I saw, you know, loose in, in the room. Um, but yeah, that, the snake has died, uh, which has been really, really gutting. Um, obviously, you don't know why, because it had a you know, nice big enclosure. Um, obviously, the, you know, obviously, fresh water was given to it. I did offer it food, which it didn't take down. Um, but it was very overweight, and um, I don't know. I spoke to a few people, and they say it could have just been from like poor health keeping in the time before I had it, and I just had it at a very bad time before it died. So. Um, so yeah, the snake had died, and the reason that ties in the Mass Effect was because the name that I had given to um, the snake was Sovereign, which of course is the um, the Reaper from Mass Effect One, um, which was one of the uh, options I put forward to um, you know my audience, to you guys, and that's the one that people picked. So I actually called the snake Sovereign, and then like a week, two weeks later, it died. So that really, really sucks, of course, but. Okay, so now to give a mention to something completely different from animals, but something that I am very excited for. Um, I'm going to give a quick mention to this now, but I will go over this in a future video in more detail. If you would like me to do that, please let me know in the comments below. There's lots of feedback that I'd like from you guys um, in this video. So, but this is Bugbox. Um, so, of course, many of you may know of Cameron. Um, if not, there'll be a link in the description to his Instagram. But um, he's a young ent entrepreneur from uh, Wales. And um, there's a picture of Cameron there. Cameron is a wonderful guy. I speak to him quite a lot on social media. And he has um, sort of made this book with the artist um, Heather Williams, who has hand illustrated all of the images in this book. And. Um, just to sort of give you a quick overlay, you know, a quick look at the book. There's some maths. You use the colours. Um, the numbers for that are what you use to colour in the actual images. Um, bit of anatomy on spiders. Um, how to make an insect hotel, which is really good, especially during the current situation. If you've got young children, if you'd like to pause that page and just take a look at that. I would really, really recommend um, doing that. Maybe I will do a video of me building an insect hotel. If you'd like me to do that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, life cycles of uh, invertebrates, bug hunting. Um, really nice picture there of a soft fugit, the camel spider. Um, bug sentences. Uh, then there's a Q&A, which of course, if you can see up here, um, is myself. And of course, the wonderful Princess Sophie Pink. There she is. Um, so. Of course, Princess Sophie Pink is in the pink and I'm in the green. So if you'd like to know what questions I was asked and how I answered them, the question it's all there. Um, there's also a word search or a bug search. And there on the back there is the answers page, which I won't show you. And then of course a big thank you page where Cameron very kindly 
give mention to myself, a few other YouTubers and some businesses that um, if you're into invert you can support. Of course, um, the Spider Shop are on there because they're in pretty much you know, all of my videos anyway. Uh, the Mandy's Den, Deadliest Company and The Little Cockroach. So um, yeah, if you are interested in this, I'll put a link in the, the description to uh, the Bugbox website. You can go and pick one of these up and uh, take a look. It's really, really good, especially if you have young children. So now we're going to go into some tarantula talk. Now I have quite a lot of tarantula related updates to give you. The first one is I received a package uh, from Martin Lees. Uh, many of you in the hobby will know Martin Lees. Of course, he is a fantastic breeder of spiders. And um, the first time I really met him properly was in Guatemala. Long story short on this, he's terrified of heights. And when we first went to Guatemala, he did not want to be in any footage. Uh, he was like sort of standing out of the way when I was doing my vlogging. Uh, by the end of the holiday, he was quite happy to sort of like, you know, be in the picture kind of thing. And he became uh, one of the people that I really enjoyed sort of filming him because he always had a great time. And um, one story I'm going to quickly tell you of, of him being terrified of heights. I have footage of us climbing up this like uh, tower thing to go into a zip line in the middle of the Guatemalan jungle. And uh, at the beginning, he was terrified of it. And by the end of it, he was like Spider-Man. So uh, really, really nice guy, really happy that I got to experience that uh, trip with Martin. And Martin has um, bred a spider. Now, I recently put a post up on, I think it was Instagram, with a picture of uh, a bunch of spiders. Do you know what these are? I actually have them here in these slings. All of these are the same species. And these are 35 Lassidora Power Hibana, which were kindly sent to me by Martin. He also sent me two Harpactriella overrickii, uh, which I, if I can get some footage of those, I will put some on screen now. They are really small slings and they've already webbed up and things, so I might not be able to, but I will get some uh, footage of just the enclosure so you can see how I'm keeping them. Uh, so I've got two of those. So that's really wonderful to Martin. Thank you for those. Originally, it was meant to be five LPs, um, sorry, 50 LPs, but then um, 15 of them were cannibalized because he kept, was keeping them together, of course, because of how many he had. So he replaced the 15 with the two uh, half back real, which to me seemed absolutely fair. Whilst talking about Martin Leeds, I also want to mention that because he is so good at breeding spiders and he is very, very good at it, he is going to be having one of my spiders to do a breeding project. Uh, he recently had a T. Celadonia mature and since maturing has done a sperm web, it is looking for a female. And he was going to send it to me, either on 50-50 or like a sale. However, um, you know, I, he didn't really feel comfortable doing that because of how much he paid for the, his tea Celadonia. I paid a lot more for mine, but I trust him um, so much that in the near future, I will be meeting up with him to uh, take my tea Celadonia in her enclosure up to him. And he will be um, breeding my tea Celadonia, um, which... For me, that works out fine because I know that he, out of anyone that I, out of everyone that I know, he can do it. You know, hopefully, really, really well. So, uh, yeah, my T. Celadonia will be leaving me uh, temporarily, and then hopefully in the future I will get her back with um, some T. Celadonia slings. And depending on how many I have left, will determine will determine how many I then give away to other people. Um, obviously, I want to keep a couple. My girlfriend would like one because she doesn't have a T. Celadonia, um, and I know okay, a few of the people that might like them. So. I will um, give an update to the tea Celadonia in the future. Yeah. So whilst on about new slings, I also need to mention I've also had two uh, packages very kindly sent to me from the Spider Shop and I will try and get some footage of these. However, um, they are all in their enclosures. So I will just sort of put some footage on screen of the enclosures. Um, and if I can get you footage of the spider, then I will show you them. But the spiders are as follows. Um, I've had some Pocotheria. So I've had the Pogotheria rufolata, the P. Fusca Highland, the P. Fusca Lowland, P. Ornata, P. Formosa, and P. Metallica. So a whole bunch of Pogotheria. So Lee also sent me in another uh, package. I had a C. Lividum, H. In Insoi, B. Harmori, H. Species Cameroon, H. Longapes, and H. Porcrites. So those are some really, really wonderful slings and these are currently on the back here. You can see this whole area is just going to be for slings, um, like terrestrial slings. And then the slings over here, which you can't see, are on the arboreal, uh, on the arboreal shelf. 
So um, you'll see that when I give a room, in the future I'll do a room tour and just go through um, shelf after shelf to show you what I have and where things are. So, but yeah, I've had a whole bunch of new spiders. I'm also expecting some new ones because um, he did um, breed some C versicolor. So hopefully I'll be getting a few of those with a few of the spiders, hopefully in the next week or so. So of course I would be giving you all an update to those. So the next video that I worked on was actually a video on keeper cards. Now many of you will remember I was asked to do the one of the original reviews for keeper cards from uh, Danny Damon. And uh, of course it comes in a box like this. And I had um, the review copy which I then actually sent to Princess Sophie Pink as a gift because um, I think she's wonderful. And um, I thought you know, it would be nice for her to have that. Well I actually was one of the uh, supporters of the Kickstarter campaign. I had the highest uh, tier uh, campaign uh, package basically and I actually did a review of that, an unboxing review of the whole thing. So I'm going to go over it very quickly um, just to sort of tell you what I got in it uh, which was of course the basic set of uh, Series 1 cards which I reviewed. You also got um, a sticker and a t-shirt. I don't actually know where the t-shirt is which is really really crap but I will wear that in a future video and also this really really nice um, like flag banner I won't tell you what this spider is if you can uh, like, you know, feel free to guess in the comments below what this is but it is really really nice it's a good size the only problem is I don't actually have anywhere to hide it which is a real shame so um, yeah if you know what this spider is then comment below in the in the comment section um, just for a bit of fun let's see if you know your spiders and he also got me something really, really cool. So one of the reasons that I delayed in actually unboxing the Keeper cards was because I was actually waiting for something really special, which I just received um, like a week ago. And these are Keeper cards, but they are a special limited edition kind of pack. Uh, there's two cards inside the pack. One you'll see on the screen is the T Celadonia. And what's important to note is that this is my T Celadonia. Um, the pictures are, are mine and you can see the credit at the bottom. So that, that's actually my spider. And it's the first sort of hollow, shiny card that he has made. So I'm really, really happy with that. I think it looks fantastic. And then he's also done a card of me as well, which is uh, also kind of cool that he has taken the time to do that. Um, so a huge thank you to Danny Damon for liaising with me and doing that. It's really quite sort of special to me that he's done that. Um, I'd also like to mention that Arachnatube uh, did a raffle for um, the NHS and the West Welsh Ambulance Service and he had a pack of those which he was actually including in his giveaway and this giveaway was actually won by Amy Freeman uh, or Pet Rock and Roll and Pet Rock and Roll is not only a subscriber of mine but a patron and someone that I do try and talk to um, you know, sort of quite often on sort of social media and things. And she contacted me recently to um, ask me if I could give a shout out to a group that she is in. And I need to find it because I can't remember what it's called. So the page is called the Balfouri Communal Club. There's a picture here of their logo. And uh, if you're into M. Balfouri as a species, then uh, I'd definitely recommend going out and checking this page and seeing what they are sort of sharing on there. There's some really cool things. I myself am a member and uh, there'll be a link to their page in the, the description of this video so please if you're able to do so head on over check it out and um, let them know that you came from me just so I, you can see so they can see you know that I am sort of trying to direct you know my audience to them especially if you keep this you know, if you have an interest in that species so I have done a couple of rehousings recently as well now I've done a lot of my enclosures out but two main rehousings were the Vinegaroon and I also rehoused my Scolopendra Polymorpha centipede. Um, uh, how long was that? I think like two weeks ago. I rehoused that now, and um, I actually was in the middle of filming it, and my my camera ran out of battery, so uh, my girlfriend had to hold the phone, uh, hold my phone, and film me doing it, which was great. Apart from she's not really a fan of centipedes. Uh, in fact, most people aren't a fan of centipedes. So, uh, but she was you know, really brave and uh, sort of sat and filmed really really you know really really well and got a nice bit of footage of that so uh, that happened I guess I should mention. Uh, on our centipedes I actually was in the bathroom this morning just kind of getting ready and I found this little guy. Um, this is a little a little centipede and um, yeah I just sort of found it in the in the bathroom just sort of uh, crawling around so I've collected it up. And I'll probably end up sort of keeping this 
for a while and then I will of course let it back out. It is a native species so there's no reason for me to sort of worry about it but uh, thought I'd sort of show you that. It was kind of cool to sort of see the centipede crawling across a towel behind me. A uh, quick update on the cockroaches. I currently have uh, three um, communals of cockroaches. One is for B. dubia and two are the Madagascan hissing cockroaches. The hissing cockroaches are not feeders, although I have fed a couple recently. Um, but the main feeders are, of course, the B. dubia, uh, which I am trying to not feed off those too many because uh, at the moment I'm feeding too many of them and I'm worried about sort of killing the colony off, so I'm trying to ease off that a little bit. I've also had two molt recently. This is really cool. If I look on the board for the date, uh, date T. Lagunas. Uh, which was the 1st of May, so just a few days ago, a week ago. Uh, male, female pair both molted on like over the same night, basically. So they're looking really, really well. I would show you them, but they've actually both gone into hiding at the moment. So I will show you some footage of those when they come out in the near future. And I'm actually waiting on my Pamphabetus Esmeraldus to molt. She has completely uh, blocked off her sort of burrow, so Hopefully in the, in the near future I'll have a really nice sort of update on her because she's amazing looking. I really, really like her. Um, finally, um, on about sort of spiders and things, I also have this guy. Um, so I say guy, it's obviously a girl. And this is a cellar spider, which of course are native to the UK. One of three spiders commonly confused or referred to as, um, they're called daddy long legs. Yeah, so this, uh, when I was tidying in my room, she was running across the floor with the egg sac and so I just decided to keep her and once the eggs have hatched I will of course uh, release her and all of the babies into the garden and I will film that so you can sort of see them all run free and go and terrorise my local neighbourhood which is fine by me because you know I'm not scared of spiders. So that is it for this video. Uh, it hasn't really been the shortest of videos but I hope it's been okay and I hope you've enjoyed some of the footage that has been on screen. Uh, Shame that some of the updates aren't great, but it is what it is at the end of the day. And um, also like to just give a mention to the BTS. I'm sure many of you know that a week tomorrow um, would have been the BTS, I think. And of course they've postponed it. At the moment they've postponed it till July. Um, in the event that that doesn't go ahead, it will be held in November. I think it's like the 22nd of November. If that's the case, then um, you know I will let you know. But in the meantime, if you'd like to go and follow the BTS, there will be links in the description to their website and their Facebook page, where they will be posting regular updates. And uh, hopefully, there will be some kind of BTS show this year. If not, then fingers crossed it'll be next year. But again, with the situation, these things cannot be helped. So with that said, everyone, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Uh, please, of course, give me feedback on the things that I've mentioned, the questions that I've asked. And if there's anything that I've shown you or that I've mentioned in this video that you'd like more information on, then please let me know in the comments below. I will keep my eye on the comments and I will try and give you an update in a week's time, um, either on something completely different or mentioning things that you have requested. So I uh, hope you all stay safe. Thank you for watching. And uh, in the meantime, feel free to go and check out my other videos and some of the playlists. Um, of course, I recommend the African and Guatemalan series. They're really, really cool. And uh, hopefully you'll stay safe. So thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. And I'll see you all soon in the next video. Welcome, everyone. Take care.